Okay, so I'm going to begin painting this now. So what I've done is I've just got my UVs on top, like that. Then I've got this, just a kind of base colour on the bottom, just a, a, a grey, basically a dark grey, and then I've just made a new layer in between for, for to actually paint on. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a round, a hard round brush, so not a soft one like this, but a hard one. And then I'm going to pick a colour. And what I want to do is I want to start, when you're painting hand, hand painting stuff you want to have a little bit of hue to it. So you also want to kind of alter the hue as you go through light into shadow. So I'll start off with a, for the metal here, I'll start off with just an ever so slightly blue colour. And then as I go down into shadow, like this, I'll also come down into kind of a, an orangey hue for the shadows. So I'm going to start off just by putting some of that detail in. So I'm just going to come in and start to add some of this light colour. And obviously I'm doing this really, really loose at the moment, which is fine. So I'll just bring some more of that in. And then I'm going to go and take my hue right down and I'm going to pick this kind of really dark colour for my shadows. So I'm going to have some shadow definitely around this bottom bit here. Maybe a bit in there as well. And it's going to kind of get lighter as it comes up here. It's going to be a little bit of shadow around there. And maybe a bit in here and a bit of shadow on that surface there. So now I want to pick a kind of middling tone, so I'll just find a middle, a middling hue here, so it's going to be kind of green, and I'm going to really desaturate that a lot, so it's almost just grey. And then this will be the colour for my, this will kind of be the in-between tone. So I'll paint a bit of that in, and I'm going to use this bit just to paint in some of these shadows here as well. And I'll come back up to a lighter, almost just a white, and I'll use that to paint in some of the light areas. So now I'm just thinking my light source is coming down in this direction from the top, so down there. So I'm just thinking, okay, the light's going to hit this surface, it's going to hit across there a bit. It's going to hit a little bit down here, a little bit down here, a bit on there, on that surface as well, on here. This is going to have a lot of light hitting it across there. So this is this is how I start off anyway. It's just painting in some very broad light and shadow. So I'm just going to pick a, a dark colour off here and paint it a bit more shadow, so this this edge here is going to be a bit more shadowed, that bit is going to be a bit more shadowed, a little bit shadowed there. Um, this bit should have been a bit brighter, so brighten that up. It's going to be darker, it's going to be darker, darker in there. So, that's kind of the very first thing that I would do done now. So the next part would be to go through and to start to blend some of this together. So to do that I'm just going to pick colours straight off my canvas and just kind of blend them like that. Blend that down a bit, blend this one down a bit. So you can just kind of pick a colour there, 
paint a bit in and pick a colour that's halfway between them, paint that in, another one that's halfway between, paint that in, and then you can use that to, to blend from one colour to another. I'm not worried too much at the moment about blending it perfectly. So if you start off with quite broad strokes as well, and you can kind of make your brush smaller as you bring the detail in. So I can just I can blend all the way down kind of from my very bright colours all the way down to my dark colours. Like that. So I'm not going to finish that off now but that's that's how I would start, and then you'll get this kind of base, this base colour in. Um, the main thing to focus is on on these areas of high highlights and bringing a little bit of shadow as well into the other areas. So you want to give it. You can see as soon as I'm bringing some of that light and shadow into this, it's giving the uh, the blade a lot more refining this, the shape of it a lot. And describing the shape a bit a lot. So just work on those really overall shapes. Uh, you can also, at this point, I probably would come in and just start to paint in a little bit of the spatula. So a little bit of the, um, of the very kind of bright speck that's going to come into these edges. So as the light just hits and reflects off these edges. And this is these these edges that are really going to give the sword a metallic look as well. So you can start to paint that in a bit. <clears throat> Again, you want to you want to kind of follow your light and shadow a bit still with this. So you know this bit could be a bit, be a bit darker in there. And obviously, I want to I want to blend it all together to some degree. But just paint in your basic light and shadow, and then just go through and sort of blend it all together. So that's for the for the that's the base for the sword. Then with the um, with this wood, I'm just going to start off with a kind of yellow color, a nice bright yellow color. And I'm just going to paint in some of some of these sort of strands of wood. So it's it's all kind of knotted, tangled wood. So I'll try and paint that in as best I can. Like that. And I just want to bring these in as well. And then I just need to kind of work out how these are gonna tangle around and blend. So again, that's my that's my sort of base light colour. So now I'm going to come in here and I'm going to just go down my hue a bit and get a, a dark colour. It's a nice kind of dark reddish brown. I'm going to use that to paint in some of the some of the shadows in here. So just around where the between these knots of branches. And I can also think at this point about how these things are going to overlap and start to kind of define that bit. Okay, so I can do that. I can probably take my UVs off now. Now I can come in and paint some even darker shadow. 
ones are the real kind of the real occluded bits now. And that starts to give this a little bit of form and shape. And then I can also do the same with some highlights. So I might just pick a nice kind of orangey colour for these highlights. And I can start to pick out some of the, the highlighted areas on this wood. So I, I'm doing this really fast now. I would spend a little bit longer on this. And I'll just pick a kind of middling brown colour as well use that for it to put in a bit of the shadow. I think I might get this in here. So that's going to be a highlight. That's going to be a shadow. Highlight there. Highlight there. Shadow there. Highlight there. Shadow there. Right, so I've just continued, continued doing that, just with not doing anything other than the really basic techniques that I showed, and this is kind of my first pass, I guess, of this texture. So I've started to put in a little bit of, a little bit of detail with this wood, just to get an idea of how it might flow, and to do that, I mean, all I've been doing is just kind of painting in a little bit of light. Painting in a bit, uh, sorry, a bit of shadow to kind of show where the wood's going to tangle around. Then just painting in a bit of light on the bottom side, and then maybe kind of blending in some shadow around to show to get an idea of where that shape goes, like that. So that's all I've done on this piece of for this wooden surface. Uh, or this, this tangled wood bit. The, the metal, I've just done exactly what I showed, but I've just finished it off, so I've just kind of blended all the way down and painted in a bit of the highlight off this edge. So I'll be painting this in much neater after, but uh, this is kind of a start. What I might do at this point is I might just I'm not quite sure about the kind of contrast between these two, these like the the metal and the wood. So I might just start messing around with maybe like a hue saturation layer or something. Um, I might just darken that up a bit and just try and find something that I like. So maybe I think I prefer those colours actually. It's more kind of ready co red colours like that. So I think that's more the kind of contrast that I wanted between the two. Uh, I just want to be careful with this not to lose the contrast out. So I might put a levels in as well. time to mess around with this stuff because you're really not going to you know it doesn't really matter if the if some of the colors kind of the blending on on them gets a bit messed up and that kind of thing um, it's just a good time to try and define how you want your colors to set so this is probably uh, looking a little bit better if I take those off back on So I'm just going to get everything now and uh, just close that. I'm just going to get all of these and just 
patch these together.